Hello again, welcome to part F. Your secret word is geometry, because during the talent show, some random sixth grader told a joke that was basically made for me, Ms. Vicuña, and any other math teacher in the world. The joke, which I thought was really funny, and most people thought was corny, was what kind of tree did the math teacher plant? And it was a geometry which was corny enough for her to be a math teacher just like me. Okay, um, part F and part G go over stuff that we've been learning in unit two. So it's a little bit fresher, and I understand if some of it's a little tricky for you. So let's go over a few together. Davis walks one-third of a mile in 10 minutes. At this rate, how many miles does he walk per hour? Um, there were two major strategies we would use for these. One was a double number line. It's going to look really silly writing with my finger, but we got miles, and we got minutes. All you're getting is an M, minutes. And we're starting off, well, Davis starts off at one-third of a mile in ten minutes. So we got one-third in ten minutes. And a ratio holds constant, so that means every time Davis goes another third of a mile, it takes another 10 minutes. So I could keep going up by 10 minutes on the bottom and by one third on the top. My goal is in the problem. It says hours. So I know that I'm trying to get to 60 minutes. Do, 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 do. Cool. So I get two six-thirds, um, and that's how many miles he goes in an hour in 60 minutes. Six-thirds is the same as two. So Davis is walking super-duper slow. He's going two miles every minute. But that's not the only strategy we used. I'm not going to do B. I'm just going to show a second strategy. We got miles, minutes, one-third of a mile every minute. One way, instead of just adding 10 six times and adding one-third six times, is to multiply. 10 times 6 is 60, which gets us to an hour, and one-third times 6 is basically one-third plus one-third plus one-third six times. That's six-thirds, which is again the same as two. So Davis is walking two miles per hour. Try B on your own. Again, you're trying to get to miles per hour. All right, I think right before break, problems like Part C started to make sense to everybody, which is great. Um, this one's a little different because instead of saying how far Caitlin walks in a certain amount of minutes, it's already telling us hours. It's saying Caitlin walks one half of a mile every one fourth of an hour. So how many miles does she walk per hour? Um, I'm going to set this one up like this with hours and miles and one half and one fourth. And basically, I just want to make it to one hour. And I'm already at one fourth of an hour. So I'm going to do two fourths of an hour, three fourths of an hour, and one hour. Some of you might have been like, you know what, I don't want to think about this in terms of hours, I want to change it to minutes. One quarter of an hour, or one fourth of an hour, is the same as 15 minutes. Because there's 60 minutes in an hour, and we're just breaking that up into four parts. So 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 60 minutes. You could do it like that, or you can leave it as fractions. So now, every time we go up by a quarter of an hour, or by 15 minutes, Caitlin's going to go another half of a mile. So we got one half, then we're going to have two halves, which is the same as a whole. Then we're going to have three halves of a mile, which is the same as a mile and a half. And then we're going to have four halves, which is the same as two miles per hour. You could have also done this on a ratio table and just done a giant jump like this and said times four, because you because you know there's four-fourths in a whole. 
One other thing worth understanding, and you can write this on your page if it makes sense to you, you can also think of this problem as being a division of fractions problem. You can actually solve it by doing one half divided by one fourth. And it's kind of crazy how this works, but if you use keep change flip and multiply across, you end up getting the same answer as two. So I just wanted you to show that. Um, just so you've been exposed to it. Okay, next. The last one I'm going to show you is D. You can figure out E on your own. Um, but this problem is bigger because it says Ms. Jar can finish one third of a snowflake every minute, like those paper snowflakes that she cuts out. At this rate, how many snowflakes would she make per day? So there's a lot of minutes in a day. There's 1,440 minutes. So I don't want to just keep adding one-third that many times. Um, that's just not a fast strategy. So I'm going to use a ratio table, which is sort of like a nice way to show multiplication. So i got snowflakes and minutes. Since my eventual goal is to figure out how many snowflakes she makes per day, and they told me that she makes one-third per minute, I'm going to use a strategy where I go from minutes to one hour, and then from one hour to 24 hours, which is the same as a day. So first, we got to get to an hour. One third times 60 is 60 thirds. And one times 60 is 60 minutes. 60 thirds, well, three goes into 60 20 times. So now I know something. I know that she can make 20 SFs, snowflakes, in one hour. Um, some people want to keep going here and just multiply by 24, but a few of you have started doing it like this, which personally I like more. I'm going to make a second ratio table that says that she can make 20 snowflakes in one hour. So now I don't have to deal with gigantic numbers on the bottom. I'm going to multiply by 24, which would give me 24 hours. And then I'm going to do 20 times 24. You can try and figure that out a long way, or you could just think 24 times 2 would be 48. So 24 times 20 would be 480. Um, and that's how many snowflakes she makes per day, 480 snowflakes. If you solved it a different way and still got it right, perfect. Use whatever way works for you. And you see this problem? You want me to show you how to do it? I'm not going to do it because I'm super duper mean. Or I want to see if you can do it on your own and you're not just a total copycat. All right, last one. And then you can go back to doing whatever you do on your vacation. See you for that last video.